Hi, I'm Carla Buderak and welcome to Behavior Communicates. One of the barriers to independence for some of our students is that they need some tools to help them with executive function. Sarah Ward is a speech language pathologist who has tons of tools and insights into what works for students who lack executive function. Today, I'd like to highlight a practical way that Ms. Ward has developed to help students understand some concepts of time. Her visual support is called the Wonder Time Clock. You can actually download this visual from a link that I provided for you in my blog. So here's what you do. The first thing you're going to need is a clock that looks something like this. I actually bought this one at Walmart, but I know Staples has a clock similar to this. All you need is something that at least has a sweep second hand. As you can see, I've cut out the wonder clock and notched it in the middle, and then I've got three little circles. The first one is a turtle and it stands for a very slow, we're gonna put this on the hour hand. The next one is a squirrel, and it's gonna go on the minute hand. And the last one is a hummingbird, and it's gonna go on the sweep second hand because it's really, really fast. The next thing I'm gonna do is get a screwdriver and just turn this over and start to unscrew the back of the clock. As you can see, I've already taken the back off, and so now all I have is the face. So now I've got the, the two uh, cutouts. I'm going to take a little bit of glue and glue each one of them on. As you can see, I've assembled everything, put all the little animals on the minute hand, hour hand, and sweep second hand. So now the kids can see uh, the clock with the animals and if you want to say all right uh, If you need your kids to do something quickly You can say it's a hummingbird task like washing their hands So something they have to do quickly the squirrel represents the minute hand So something has to be done fairly quickly But takes a little longer than the hummingbird and then a turtle task is something that takes a lot longer Like an hour it takes an hour obviously so let's say you have a student who it's noon and they want to know when they can go home, you can say, well, when the turtle goes from the bear over to the chipmunk, then it'll be time for you to go home. If you want a student to do, say, a 10-minute task, you can say, well, you're going to start here. The squirrel is going to be right here at the duck, and you're going to go all the way over to the, the frog, and when you're at the frog, you're finished with the task. You can see that this at least gives the kids some kind of concept of time when things move and how quickly or how slowly they move. This is an awesome visual support for executive function. I want to give a shout out to Christy Laughlin for turning me on to Sarah Ward's wonderful visual support, the Wonder Time Clock. Thank you so much for joining me here at Behavior Communicates. Just remember, the more we know about how to help the child or the student we love, the better quality of life they will have. If you like this video and you want to be in the know, sign up for Behavior Communicates. You'll automatically get my weekly video and blog, plus other resources that I only share with my subscribers. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and share it with all your parents, your teachers, your friends, and your coworkers on Facebook, Twitter, and all your other social media. You take care, and I'll see you next time.